Hi there, Sarah from Standing Up to Scoliosis in the Scolia Temple. Um, just doing a video today um, about sensory items and sort of tools of the tools of the trade and things you know that you can really, really feel into to gain back awareness and sensory proprioception of your body again, because there are so many different nerve receptors in the body. And scoliosis affects every part of the body. I mean, it's not just the bones that are affected. Um, and we don't even know, you know, if, if, if the, the direct, you know, cause is coming from the bones or if it's coming, pulling from the soft tissues or is it coming from, you know, the central nervous system being stuck. I mean, the cause could be different, slightly different in each person. So you really need to try lots of different things um to be able to gain back that awareness of your body um and yeah i've i've literally since my the rods have come out of my spine i have been able to relax into my into my bones and body and try out lots of different things um and there are so many <clears throat> so many things that can hold and support the body so that you can then release that trauma and tension you know the frozen muscles and things that are holding on um you know you literally you literally have like a whole world of of options available to you that you can just do in your own home um so obviously like you know how to use them you know you'd want to go and see a therapist like who knows you know exactly exact intuitively where to place certain you know cushions and things um and especially if you're working on you know massaging particular parts of the body you need to you know the tummy you need to know the directions and you know how to do that but there's definitely a lot you can do on you know at home on your own um so <clears throat> yeah you can see like all the the range of things so it's not just like you know you see on the scoliosis course you see rolled up towels and cushions and people lying you know on this where their curve is like pulling out the worst they're lying on the cushion it's holding and supporting them but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily the best sort of texture material that's going to support support the body so i've found some like amazing things recently like these stress balls these foam stress balls so you can get like foam massage balls that are quite firm. So I've tried that out before and that's not worked so great for me. Like it was too hard, like a foam roller was too hard for me. Um, and it kind of created more pain in my and gripping up in my body. Like maybe because I have a scoliosis, like maybe my, 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 my body's a bit more sensitive and, you know, and soft, you know, and it needs something with a little bit more give. Um, but this is like got enough give, but it's also cushioned and supportive enough. And when I lie, you know, on my sacrum and the back of my neck and the middle, actually the, the fraco lumbar junction, this ball is amazing. Like it literally, it like, it's like a form of self-massage and it frees up all the stuck fluid, you know, and stuck inflammation that, that's in my, that's sort of going up and down the spine um, and is sort of <clears throat> connected with that flow, like with the breath, that cerebral, cranial sacral, you know, cerebral spinal flow. So this, yeah, this sort of texture really works on those body parts i have discovered recently so you have to you can like literally just just try these things out and like go with your intuition where do i feel like this wants to go you know and you can just get great results just on your own like with no one doing anything <laughs> um then we have so this is something i've always been drawn to for a long time is like my my crystals <laughs> um mostly because you know our bones are made of crystal we're made of like hydroxyapatite which you can actually buy a crystal that is called apatite that is like super similar to the crystalline geometry and structure and you know obviously our bones have like loads more minerals in as well on top of that but yeah crystals are another thing i was always drawn to um 
I thought they might give me, you know, awareness of where my bones were and, you know, I can sort of relax into them. But they, I mean, mostly I've been using these like for massaging, you know, deep into the bones. But also if I have scar tissue, they, they connect to the, you know, when you when you have a scab and the whole thing crystallizes, you know, and creates a scar you know in the body i i this is when i you know i turn to the crystals so like if this one if i'm on my period this is carnelian and i will take this in the bath you know and i'll massage it on my tummy um so yeah when you're bleeding you know when women are on their cycles this is like a ancient sort of stone that people have used for for that um and they connect very well to the sunlight and they sort of charge up they have a very mild sort of electromagnetic energy but mostly they respond to piezoelectricity which is one of the nerve receptors you know in our body we, we do conduct piezoelectric energy and electromagnetic so you know this is like heat and pressure you know infrared heat this is amazing to use with and they can just completely get rid of pain in a joint you know if you just lie on it with the infrared heat or you know out in the sun out in the sunlight um, yeah, you can get fantastic, fantastic results with with a crystal, but they're very hard. So, you know, be careful if you're in a lot of pain lying on, you know, and using something so, so hard for massage. So obviously it's going to get you like totally different results to the squishy foam ball, which is very connecting, you know, to the fluid and the hyaline cartilage and, you know, different textures for different parts of the body um you know also i find the crystals like or just picking up a rock in general they because they're quite heavy they're quite good for weight training as well um but very very gentle weight training so sometimes when your joints have really been damaged a lot you know especially if you've had the surgery you know you don't want to be picking up heavy weights to start with you know until you've got enough muscle strength to really support the joints or you've got you know yeah you're, it, until the joints are cushioned enough basically so i start actually found starting off with this lighter weight you know i would just relax hold it feel into the way my bones naturally went because they connect with my bones so well and i'd be like oh, okay so this is collapsing this way so i need to lift up this way just doing very gentle with very light weight to start with and then gradually building that up so yeah crystals and rocks you know they have they have their their purpose within therapy as well as foam rollers and, and squidgy foam balls um and then this one has been quite a lifesaver the semi-inflated you know air ball <laughs> um, obviously i have my use my big gym ball a lot as well which is amazing but this one you know these balls I've been particularly drawn to since the pandemic and covid has hit because because like let's face it this ball is like reminding me of the diaphragm in the body like this sort of texture and if you semi inflate it the you know the squidginess of it and the air that's inside it so you know lying on this ball and mostly, I, particularly, I've really found leaning it, you know, against my the wall where my at the level of my diaphragm and rocking side to side, um, and you know, with a big ball, I I tend to lie over it forward on my diaphragm, you know, and rock back and forward, rock, you know, just rocking on that, and it's really helping, really helps my diaphragm and my lungs inflate more. Um, and even with this ball, you can even put it slightly lower down, you know, sitting on it around the pelvis, um, because obviously the pelvic floor is like, you know, the lungs are growing from the bottom up in the womb. So the pelvic floor alignment is very important to the alignment of the diaphragm. And so, yeah, these like semi inflatable balls have been quite life savers and throughout having to you know, have my metal rods taken out and throughout this pandemic and, you know, all the, all the craziness, you know, if you can get over tight and panic, you just, you just want to be able to relax in your body. 
but you want to know that when you relax that you're held and supported and these are the tools of the trade <laughs> you know the sensory things that hold you so you're able to let go of trauma because you just your body will never relax you know you can go and do loads of exercises and try and like mass up release everything in the body like but if your body doesn't feel held and you know safe it's, it's not going to release you're not going to get the results especially if you've got you know you're really out of alignment with, with scoliosis so obviously yeah the more like in alignment you are already you know you're not going to need to go to such extreme lengths with all this sensory you know stuff holding you um so then the next thing I have discovered recently, because <laughs> because in scoliosis it affects the whole system, even if maybe this wasn't a problem when I was younger and might not be the root cause necessarily, my digestion and my bowels, you know, have become a bit squashed and a bit sluggish, basically. So this therapy putty, massaging it on my tummy... It's amazing. Like, it just, you know, when you're doing tummy massage, it's like kneading dough already. So, yeah, using the therapy putty on, on the bowels is, is something that I find very helpful. Um, and then we have, obviously, I've already done a video on a range of elastic bands and therabands. So you get like different thicknesses of bands. So, like, the thinner ones, you know, I think I talked before, like, are good for, like, the more superficial, stretchy, you know, like, stretchier connective tissues, the myofascia. Um, and then you get, like, thicker ones that are going to be more connected to the tendons. And then this is my favourite one. The really, like, coiled elastic band. Like, really firm, but super, like, stretchy, like, gym band. This one, you know, I really find connected to my spinal cord and my peripheral nerves and the way that they hold tension in the body and the way they can become tethered and stuck and trapped. So using this for like neural tension is amazing, you know, and I have done, I think I've done videos on, on this before. Um, but yeah, I mean, you need to know the exact positions of how the nerves run, you know, and what and how to release that tension. So, you know, a, a qualified therapist can, can show you that. And then, <laughs> calm. <laughs> so then another thing I'm getting really into is the vibrations of sound from the air, you know, and physical vibrations up through the body. So for so, through song and dance therapy, so I used to dance and sing professionally. These are, you know, these are classes that I'm working on at the moment to teach people as I, you know, as I rehab myself from the, from the surgery and having the rods out. And so this is a Tibetan singing bowl. So of course, you know, you can, um, there's like scientific articles on how the vibration of sound, you know, is going to connect to the spirit and the electromagnetic chi and energy, you know, that, um, People often liken this as like this sort of coming from above onto the onto the mind, you know, the spirit coming from above and the electromagnetic energy is, is just always been connected to the vibration of sound. For some reason the way sound vibrates in the air seems to connect to these this yeah, this light you want to call it spiritual a godly source um so yeah i do find music and sound therapy and healing very very helpful as well but because i have the scoliosis and my mind is not aligned to my body to my physical vibration i have to i find combining it with the dance and the vibration through the ground up the most beneficial so like, yeah, if I just sit and like sing and write, you know, this is why I quite like the, the piano is one of my favourite instruments to play because I, I literally feel the vibration of it through my whole being when I'm playing it and I get like really into it. Um, But yeah, you can, you know, I also love drumming. Like I have lots of drums, um, particularly 
loving the ham pan and um, I have like a Cajun, I have a Cajun drum, Indian drums. So this one you sit on, so you feel the vibration when you're sitting on it. And the ham pan, you know, it's just, it just feels quite spiritual spiritually connected so these were this is like how I started so I'm not really a musician I just I'm just a little bit musical I've always loved singing and dance so I just started with the drumming and the and the feel the vibration and then you just gradually they call it like hollow bone in like shamans and in spirituality like when you have that creative channel that opens up and the divine you know sort of inspires you they call it a hollow bone which I find interesting with scoliosis because I think of a hollow bone I think of the spinal cord going through through the vertebrae and I think like creatively like I'm often quite hit and miss and blocked and like things can sometimes sort of you know coil up and align and like I get like a really great idea and then and then I'm like cut off again and blocked so yeah, I do like things that can open the creative channel, you know, for scoliosis in general. I find very helpful and I'm particularly drawn to music um, and singing. Um, so, yeah, I I do play the piano, but my piano, well, actually a keyboard. Can't fit a piano in the house. That's broken. So that usually goes there. But I'm just getting having to get a new one at the moment. Um, so, yeah, we have all sorts of have a rain stick but yeah going a bit off tangent now but yeah there's lots of I'm just trying to highlight the fact there's lots of different sensory receptors in the body that can help us proprioceive you know and connect back to embody ourselves again um, and I'm sure that I have missed some out in this video um, you know there are plenty of other things that you can do therapeutically um you can like particularly obviously you can work with color you know and um you know art sometimes i do drawings just the colors in general like visualizing you know the light spectrums um you know all these things you know these sort of things can help you visualize i like, can connect your mind back to your body like through visualizations you know with the light and the artwork that you draw um these are all, yeah, very, all very helpful things. Um, and I am working on, with my book at the moment, you know, listing all these sensory receptors that science has found and then writing therapies that can help those things in particular. Because the physical vibration through the body is very connected to the, the bone, the vertebrae, especially up the spine. So... This is why a lot of like some of these scoliosis therapies are really like PRI, especially focusing on when you're the walking, the gait, you know, cycle. And because as you walk, the vibration goes through your bones, literally. So working on ways to help the pelvis and, you know, the, the, the body be aligned during walking are quite, you know, are pretty essential things for ther physiotherapy in general but they're, they're, they're particularly helpful for scoliosis as well and um, so yeah you can but again you know there's so many different types of physical vibration there's like oscillations like more more you know slower rocking ones and then there's like you know more for you know faster vibrations so Sometimes you have to start with these slower rock, you know, ones and work your way up. And if you've had surgery, again, you know, like I saw a video with a scoliosis therapist talking about using an electric toothbrush as a physical vibration, you know, and that I actually found that did help when I had the rods in because it's it's very slow, like it's not so strong. It's very it's more gentle. It doesn't go as deep like it's, you know, sort of lighter. So, yeah, you have to find the exact right texture and thing that's going to connect to the exact right body part you want to work on. Um, and yes, um, so there's plenty of plenty of things out there to talk about. I think, you know, some people use like aromatherapy and smells, particularly to help the brain and the mind. Um, but yeah, I think I've waffled on enough. So, yeah.
over and out and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.